Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today I have a review for you of a fragrance that has been around since 1988. It's been out there for a while, almost everyone who collects fragrances knows what fragrance this is. It is none other than Cool Water by Davidoff. Here is the bottle. Uh, this is the 4.2. As you can see here it just says Davidoff Cool Water on the front. Really the bottle is nothing impressive or anything like that. The bottom of it you have your serial number information uh, that's kind of right below where it has the size of the bottle and the sprayer on this is actually pretty nice yeah so very nice sprayer can't complain there uh, gets the job done uh, not unlike you know some other ones that kind of have trouble spraying it uh, but anyway the parfumé of this was Pierre Bourdon who I believe there's been some rumors floating around that he helped create Green Irish Creed. I'm not sure if that's the case. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's, you know, just the Creed family who actually created that. Uh, but he has done some Yves Saint Laurent uh, fragrances like Coros, Live Jazz, and I believe he's done a Frederick Mull, uh, something with oranges that starts out, or oranges is in the, is in the actual name. Uh, but you can purchase this fragrance for... Uh, the 2.5 milliliter you can purchase it for around $40. I believe it retails for $48. So anything cheaper than that, uh, consider it a deal. And for the 4.2, $65. Again, this has been around since 1988, so you can buy this a lot cheaper uh, than those retail prices. Expect to pay anywhere around $30 for a 4.2 size. So very affordable, uh, very within reach for a lot of people. Now, uh, the note breakdown that this actually consists of. Uh, for our top notes, we have lavender, coriander, peppermint, rosemary, and orange blossom. For our mid notes, we have jasmine, oak moss, uh, geranium, and sandalwood. And for our base notes, we have amber, musk, uh, and cedar. Or I've seen it interchange, but sandalwood really is more of a base note than it is a mid note. So uh, just take it as is. Now, what I get from this fragrance is really a fresh, aquatic scent that really has a lot of green notes into it. Uh, the lavender is really, really powerful in this. Uh, it's very sharp. Uh, it comes off as very, very assertive. Uh, so what you can really expect from this is a fresh aquatic that has a lot of florals mixed in it. Uh, it does have some longevity issues, which I'll get into, uh, but overall, it is a scent that is very recognizable. When you wear it, you start to smell uh, very professional, very um, you know, very cutting edge, very uh, modern, very up to date. That's the type of scent that I would kind of classify this as around. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Green Irish Tweed, I will also touch upon some of the similar similarities that it has with other fragrances later on in the review. But again, uh, very easy to wear. Uh, in terms of sprays, I would honestly recommend spraying this only about three times, and that's because this fragrance is very sharp. Uh, it's very sharp in the manner of it, it really comes at you and can really get cloying in its uh, sharpness. That lavender is uh, really unforgiving in how it comes across. Uh, so uh, again, I recommend just three sprays. This is a classic one that you can overspray and really upset a lot of people that are around you. Uh, for occasion, I recommend this one for pretty much any occasion that you can really think of. Work uh, does really well. It does really well for a casual scent, does really well for a date scent. Uh, or just, you know, just lounging around. It's uh, a very versatile fragrance that really suits those. Uh, despite its versatility, it still is primarily a spring and summer type fragrance. It does extremely well in both the spring and summer in the heat. And that kind of touches upon um, longevity issues that it actually has. I've heard some people get really good longevity out this eight hours, but me personally, I've only gotten around four hours longevity before it starts to die down and pretty much go away completely. For those first four hours, it's very forceful and very much present, very uh, no problems smelling it, but it's almost uh, like, you know, the drop of a dime that it begins to go away. Uh, another thing to mention is as it develops and starts to get into that third or fourth hour, you get start, you're going to start to get a little bit of a metallic note that comes out into it. So uh, just be aware of that. Uh, for the fragrance. Now, projection-wise, uh, it has very good projection that people are going to smell you once you spray it around. Even with just three sprays, people are going to um, smell you from at least, you know, five, eight feet away. 
so it does project extremely well. It doesn't leave that much of a scent trail. The scent trail is average, so it has average ciliage. And uh, longevity, again, I touched upon about four hours. Now, this is a fragrance that any age group can wear. A lot of high schoolers wore this, even middle schoolers wore this one, and it has translated uh, you know, to older gentlemen even wearing this uh, as time has gone on and as we've kind of grown up with this fragrance. Again, 1988, this has come out a while ago. So very good. So, you know, despite the fact that it's come out a long time ago, it still has very, very good, uh, how, do you, how do you say it, translation into, you know, a modern day scent. It's a scent that is not outdated for its time. It still is very much present and it really is the basis for a lot of these new fresh scents, uh, these new fresh aquatic scents that you smell. Uh, this really was um, the one that took hold and pushed it away. Even though this cool water is uh, pretty much a copy or you know a knockoff of Green Iris Tweed. Uh, Green Iris Tweed came out in 1985 and it really is an obvious knockoff. It does not smell uh, completely the same. It smells very similar but uh, you know, it gets the job done. And for, uh, you know, its price, it's definitely something worth picking up. Especially if you are the type who collects fragrances. Uh, who's going to like this? Fans of lavender, definitely take a look at this one. Uh, fans of aquatic scents, fans of, you know, fans are people that like florals in their fragrances. Uh, definitely take a look at this one. This one will definitely satisfy your needs. If you're not a fan of sharp fragrances, if you're not a fan of, you know, uh, those modern type scents that are going to come across, you're, you're probably not going to like this. If you don't like uh, scents like Green Irish Tweed, Che Bond, or uh, I forgot what the other one was, but there's a couple other ones that actually smell like this that are really pretty much the same type of uh, scent, then you're probably not going to like this one. If you want your fragrance to last more than, you know, like I said, the four hours, you're probably going to want to look in another direction as well. But again, for that, uh, that being said, it still is a very nice fragrance to have in your collection. So I kind of touched upon it earlier, and that's the sense that this actually smells like. It's often compared to Green Irish Tweed, and for good reason. Uh, their top notes immediately when you spray the two, they both smell very, very similar. However, once you get past that top, once you get past that, you know, 20, 30 minute mark, they really start to take a little bit of a different direction. Uh, the Green Irish Tweed really comes off as a, uh, a really fresh, a really smooth scent. This remains really sharp and really um, more aggressive to one's nose. The Green Irish Tweed is a lot easier to wear uh, than Cool Water, believe it or not. Uh, many of you who haven't smelled Cool Water, give Green Irish Tweed, I'm sorry, Green, give Green Irish Tweed a try and you'll see what I mean. Uh, now, yeah, so Chabon, Green Irish Tweed, and uh, what was the third one? Nuts, I can't remember. I think it's Quasar, uh, a Quasar fragrance. It was another one that it kind of reminds me of. Now, uh, in terms of compliments, this is definitely a compliment getter. Uh, a lot of women are very, very uh, in tune with this scent. They know what this smells like. They've been smelling it for a long time now, and uh, they enjoy it very much. So this is a compliment getter even even if i have my complaints about the lavender and about the sharpness women still love this fragrance so just keep in mind expect to get a decent amount of compliments or you might not get any at all just because they know what they're smelling to begin with they might just say you smell nice but they they're probably not going to want to know what it's what it is that you're wearing because they're probably going to know what you're wearing already uh so in terms of uh, a rating I give this one, again, my rating is 1 out of 10, 5 being an average scent. I give this one a 6. It's not one of my, it never has been one of my favorite scents. It, and for good, I mean, the reason that it's not one of my favorite scents is simply because of the lavender, too sharp, uh, too well known. There's too many uh, buts or there's too many little caveats that I don't really, I've never really connected with this particular fragrance. Uh, now again, for some people, it is their easily their most favorite scent, and it is a, a very good staple that I really recommend anyone who's collecting at least have a scent that smells like this uh, in their wardrobe. So again, 6 out of 10 from me, uh, worth buying, uh, definitely worth trying, and if you can get it, you can pick up um, a pretty cheap model uh, for this, especially on those online discount stores. 
Uh, so again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave me a message, let me know, uh, do what you gotta do. Thank you everyone and take care.